our next uh, chapter is OSI reference model so in this OSI reference model as name mentioned here reference model it's actually not implementable whenever you want to go develop a new network technology like uh, like TCP IP ATM ISDN if you these are all the existent com computer network technologies so suppose you want to develop a new technology computer network technology then you have to know what are the things you have to provide in this in that uh, your network technology so for that why that's why you need to refer this OSI model so that's why this is OSI reference model we can say it's a specification specification in the sense it will give guidelines what are all things you have to provide in your developing technology so like that OSI reference model is a one of the specification so now if you come to this functionalities of this computer network so whenever you want to develop it one computer network technology so you need a <coughs> you need set of functionalities to provide in your network technology so let us take one car example suppose you want to develop a car whenever you want to develop a car you need to know that what are all the things you have to provide let us take let us divide things you are want to develop you want to provide as into two parts one is mandatory another one is optional here mandatory in the sense you should provide these functionalities and uh, optional in the sense you can skip that basing on your requirement basing on your budget all these things parameters will be included suppose you want to develop a car here you need to provide initially four wheels and a good engine you have to provide then <coughs> brake system you have to provide then good gear system you have to provide and steering all these things mandatory when you are designing a new car these things are mandatory when you, if you come to the optional things good ac ac may or may not but these if you lack of any one your car will not work properly but lack of these optional things this will work so ac is the optional one and good sound system and good seating like this you have many optional things so here you have the one car specification like here and over if you want to provide a if you want to design new car you have to refer all these things then you will provide these mandatory things and uh, and optional things as much you want so here thing is how efficiently you will design all these things how efficiently you will provide optional things your car will become famous same like here also you have some mandatory things while designing a network technology and you have the optional things so here in this case network technology case what are the mandatory things so mandatory thing first one is error control then second one is segmentation and reassembling then <coughs> multiplexing and demultiplexing 
so like this you have the many mandatory things in case of uh, computer network technology and then if you come to the some of the optional things encoding without these things your network may not work simply like in car case but uh, with optional things encoding or decoding all these for security purpose or for a load purpose all these things initially you have to provide these mandatory things then compression encryption routing like this we have many optional things in this network technology so <coughs> if you want to develop like this assume that we have the 40 mandatory things and then 30 optional things functionalities 30 optional functionalities is there 40 uh, mandatory functionalities there suppose you want to develop a network technology you should provide there is no choice in this you should provide 40 mandatory functionalities but in case of optional functionalities you can adopt any number but basing on providing your optional functionalities your reference model your uh, network technology will become that much efficient that much famous that much uses it will become so total 60 functionalities you are providing now <coughs> we have some network models or existed network models those are this voice reference model as we seen then tcp ip this is the exist this is the most popular network technology then isdn then we have atm fr these are all we can say wan technologies and uh, this atm is both wan and lan also then i triple e is lan technology especially meant for lan technology then let us see some application uh, let us see the layers in the os reference model total layers are seven layers here we have in this first one is physical layer next one is data link layer network layer transport layer then session layer presentation layer application layer among this this is purely <coughs> hardware kind of layer then uh, this is most complex layer among seven layers network layer is the complex layer we can say these three layers user oriented layers <coughs> and then this is very thin layer means very less less work for this session layer then <coughs> these three layers below three layers lower level three layers is called network oriented layers whenever you send a packet 
how to route how to make it to reach destination that that functionality related to that work these three layers will do network oriented layers these three are then this is the interface layer between these two kind of layers <coughs> here we have these three layers software and hardware this we can say software layers <coughs> then whenever you send a packet at the application layer you will prepare the purely messages this is at application layer this is the actual content whatever you want to forward then these trans these layers will add one by one the headers to this messages so transport layer will add for this messages it will add some header assume this is the header one which is added at transport layer so at here we can call this is as a segment then <coughs> next at the trend network layer network layer also will add this is original message and this is the header added by transport layer then network layer add one more header this we can call as data ground or a packet also we can call for the same content we have the different terminology at each layer then if you come to data link layer in the data link layer same message header 1 added by transport layer header 2 added by network layer then transport layer data link layer is adding header 3 here we can call it as a frame then physical layer will not add anything its add, its work is to keep this message this entire frame or packet into the medium outgoing medium so so this is the in this way for the messages each layer will add the headers and then it will do some functionality that basing on their functionality it will add all these things <coughs> 